Today I want to show you how to use Red Hat OpenShift Data Science to build a container that you can use to do the science that you're trying to do. Let me show you what I mean. We have a project at github.com slash computate-org slash smartabayar-smartvillage. And this is a project that simulates traffic on roads. Part of that relies on an open source application called Sumo. So there are some commands that explain how to run Sumo. And we've built Ansible automation to install Sumo at github.com slash computate-org slash computate underscore Sumo. Now this is a playbook that can install Sumo on your own computer. We also use it to install Sumo on containers. Now I've built another repository here called Smartabayar Data Science Notebook which has some instructions on how to build this container locally. So you need Podman and Builda. And once you have Podman and Builda, you can build the container. So we can CD into Smartabayar Data Science Notebook and kick off a build locally. Now this has already been built, so it went really fast. Let me show you the Docker file. Here we extend the S2I generic data science notebook. Now, where did this come from? Let's dive into OpenShift data science and find out. I'll make sure that my OpenShift local environment is running with CRC start and visit the console here. Now to get to OpenShift Data Science, I click on the apps, which looks like the Rubik's Cube icon, and click on Red Hat OpenShift Data Science. Cool. Now I'll create a new data science project. I'll call this Sumo, because that's what we're simulating here. We want to run some Sumo commands. And I'll create a workbench. And I'll call this sumo dash workbench. And here we need to select an image. Now we can go with the standard data science image, which is Python. It also has these other packages, Boto3, Boto Kafka Python, Matlab, Matplotlib, NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, and SciPy, which are all helpful tools. Um, but the what we really need is what we really need is Sumo. So Sumo is a command line application that's not available out of the box. We need to build our own container for that. And we can load it into data science. So I've already built it here. I've also pushed it up to Quay.io. So if you take a look at Quay.io and explore, 
the container images, search for Smarta Byr, and you'll see the, the Smarta Byr data science notebook here. So it's already been built. And we can load this into our own OpenShift environment. In fact, I already have here. So if we search for builds, image streams, you'll see in the Red Hat ODS operator, we have the Smarta Bayer data science notebook image stream already loaded. And it found it in Quay.io, which is good. And then here in OpenShift Data Science, we'll go to Settings, Notebook Images. And you'll see that I've already set up a, a notebook image for Smarta by our Data Science Notebook. Now let me just delete this so that you can see how to do this yourself. We can do import image. We'll give it the name of Smarta by our Data Science Notebook. The repo where this notebook is stored will be the Quay.io URL for this. Quay.io slash computate org slash Marta Byar dash data dash science dash notebook colon latest. So I take this and put it in the repository. And I'll click add software and put sumo Let's see what version of Sumo this is. We can test this out by doing podman run dash it. And then the quay.io URL. Sorry. And then it'll be slash bin slash bash. Sumo dash dash version. And pull. Let's get the latest. So I probably built this earlier and didn't. I probably built this earlier locally, but let's pull down the latest and make sure that it's working. There we go. Now we'll run this again. Sumo dash dash version. There it is.
Well, that's an interesting version. <laughs> we'll put that in there. Anyway, now let's import. Let's also give it a description for running sumo traffic simulator and Python. Save. Let's make sure that's enabled. All right, now we'll create Go to data science projects. We'll create a new workbench. Sumo workbench. Image selection. Smart by our data science notebook. That's the package information. Good. And the rest is fine, so we'll create the workbench. And check the logs. So this is going to pull down our image. And start a server. Good. And now it's open. Let's check this out. We'll accept the certificate, log in as kubeadmin. And looks good so far. Let's open a terminal. Now, if we've successfully compiled sumo, we should be able to type sumo dash dash version. Yes, we have the sumo command. We can also run Python. Great. The other cool thing is you can set up a notebook. and put a bunch of commands in there and then you can run them. So that's it. In future videos, we'll integrate this with the Smart Bear Smart Village application and use the Python scripts that they've already developed to generate traffic data. So stay tuned. We'll learn a lot more about integrating Jupyter Notebooks with Red Hat OpenShift Data Science into applications like the Smart Device or Smart Village project. Thanks for watching.